welcome back to our series on react state management tools in part one we cover the basics of state management in react using use state and then use reducer in the part two we will dive into managing state with context api by the end of this video you will understand how to share state across multiple components without the hassle of prop drilling What is context API? React's context API allows you to share state across multiple components without passing props manually at every level. This makes it easier to manage state in a clear and more efficient way. What is context? Context is like a container that holds some data that can be shared across components without having to explicitly pass props through every level of the tree. Think of it as a way to provide global variables that can be accessed anywhere in your application. The key steps involved to manage state with context API are create context to hold the data, create a provider component to wrap the application, use use context hook to consume context the create context function lets you create a context that components can provide or read here is the syntax create context takes one parameter there is a default value this is an optional argument that sets the default value for the context if a matching provider is not found in the component tree and it returns and it returns a context object what is a provider the provider component is used to wrap the part of the application that needs access to the context it accepts a value value prop which is the data you want to pass down. Here is the syntax for co provider component. Here the children refers to components that need access to the context. Next is use context. Use context is a react hook that lets you read and subscribe to context from your component. Here is the syntax of use context hook. Use context takes one parameter that is the context that you have previously created with the create context and it returns it returns the context value for the calling component. The value is determined as the value passed to the closest provider above the calling component in the tree if there is no such provider the return value will be the default value you have passed to the create context for the context now uh, let's put this into practice with a simple example yeah let's start with importing the required models for this uh, example let me start with the Here, let's start the uh, import. One is a create context to create the context. And the second one is use context to consume context. The third one is use state to manage the state. Okay. Now, the next thing is we should create a context object, right? Okay. For that, let me start with count context equal to create context so this creates a count context object so the count context will be used to provide and consume state throughout the component tree okay next thing is we should create a provider component constant 
account provider equal to so here we should pass children and then pass children here so inside this what we're going to do is we simply use one state variable that is const count set count use state and then initialize with that zero value so this is to manage the state of a count variable okay inside this uh, uh, count provider component so this returns the count provider tu or we should use count context which we created earlier dot provider okay provider takes one value uh, value um, property here we should pass here we should pass the count and then set count inside this pass the children proper okay with this we are done with the creating provider component the next thing is what we have to do here is next thing we should pass or we should consume this context right okay let's start with creating a counter component or uh, here it's a con context api a demo component inside it what we have to do is we should consume the context which we created for that const the value which we need from the context or count set count equal to use context for which we should pass the context which we created earlier that is count context so with this these values are available for us to use in the component so let me remove this and then add the one paragraph to display the count to display the count and one button to increment the count click me and then we should handle on click event handler when we click on click me what we have to do is we should simply update the state of count set count count plus one okay now we are done with the component as component also okay let me export the con provider component so that we can use in the app.jsx so now go to the app.jsx and then call our context ap demo component now in order to use or consume the context which we created we should wrap this component with the provider component that is count provider so let me wrap this context api demo component with the count provider so now let's see whether it's working or not just click on this clicking on this click me should increment the count okay see here now we are successfully able to access the state or able to manage the state using context api okay this is about uh, our uh, uh, today's video so thanks for watching if you like the video please do subscribe 
and share with your friends and if you want to convey anything please drop in the comment section thanks thanks again